Salut Kodas, welcome back to our channel. This is Piski. Warm greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. In this tutorial, I want to show you the settings page that I developed and I walk you through how to design this settings page as you can see on this dashboard. Here I add a change languages here and this is the going to be the profile so you can change your profile your profile name and you change profile picture and this is for block users so if you block the user you can unblock it here and you can see if i i can click unblock and the user has been unblocked and also this is just for the designer and for change languages you can come here and you can change your language so let me walk you through the code of this settings page so if you go to i created this folder code settings and this friends is for the block to friends and in this block friends you can see it's just a view with the text title of the block to friends and i added a list of view a list of view builder so in each in each view i have a swipe action cell so that when you see uh, let me come here and go to chat i want to block this friend if i go to the profile of this user i can click block yes you can unblock it here or you can come to this settings page so this swiping action cell you can see this text and block is this one so this is what you are, this is what you are supposed to do if you want to unblock you can just swipe to the right so if you want to know more about this action cell it's there on flutter plus pub spec and this is the this is the dependency that i'm using so you can do all these actions there are so many ways that you can use this dependence so i love it because it is very simple then here you can come back so this is the one that is doing the action so in its event i'm calling i'm calling block friend here and block the friend by friend id that's where i'm unblocking and the logic is the in our notifier friend details view model I have this logic to unblock friend by friend ID. You can see I'm sending the and we created this on the first tutorial of uh, block the friends. If you have watched our previous tutorial. So that's all for the for, from this block to friends. And for profile, I'm using the 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 same page that you are using when creating the profile for the first time after entering your one-time password so the text for profile and also here where we pick an image you can pick your image here by clicking the image and also if the image does not exist you can just set in an avatar which is a default and here you are putting a title which is this text field and the button to update so after calling the update we are checking if there's a image file name if the image file name exists we have to delete it and upload a new one after that you can update the profile with the new name that's all from this one and then and here i'm just on this also profile i added a view model this view model is new so now we are here we are now using riverport throughout the application we are no longer using flutter block so i removed the flutter block what else this change language i just copied it from the dashboard this is the same view as you were seeing it on the previous tutorials when you implement a change language it was the same page that i added on the dashboard so i just copied the logic and i also added the settings one this setting screen 
where we have changed language as a this one on this row i have changed language in the icon and also i have profile and the designer so that was the implementation of the settings page so let's meet on another tutorial where we are going to redesign the application adding some better designs better ux so that we'll be able to publish our application on google play store and apple app store salukodas let's meet on another video tutorial